Hello friends, in the last video, I explained the basics of calendars. Okay, I uh, using those basics. So, I want to find the weekday of 16 July 1776. Okay, so if you didn't watch the previous video, please watch that before watching this video. Then only you can understand what concept I am using to solve this problem. Okay, so the date 16 July 1776 can be divided as 1775 years plus period from first first 76 to 16. Seven seventeen hundred and seventy-six. Okay. First, we find the number of odd days in seventeen hundred and seventy-five, and then we will find the odd days from first January seventeen seventy-six seventeen hundred and seventy-six to sixteen July seventeen hundred and seventy-six. Okay. So now we find the seventeen hundred and seventy-five. Seventeen hundred and seventy-five can also be divided. Sixteen hundred plus hundred plus seventy-five. So we already know that the sixteen hundred contains zero odd days, and hundred years contains five odd days. Okay. Now let's find the number of odd days in seventy-five years. Okay. So the seventy-five years contain eighteen leap years plus fifty-seven normal years. Okay, so each leap year contains two odd days. That is, eighteen into two plus each normal year contains one odd days. That is, fifty-seven into one, equivalent to ninety-three uh, days. Okay, so ninety-three days is equal to so ninety-three days equivalent to thirteen weeks. Okay, plus Thirteen weeks plus two days. So that means the seventy-five years is going to be contains two odd days. So the total number of odd days till seventeen hundred and seventy-five is zero plus five plus two equivalent to seven. So again we divide this one by seven equal to one week plus zero days. That means. Seventeen hundred and seventy-five contains zero odd days. Okay, so now let's find the odd days from period January to July sixteen. Okay, so January contains thirty-one days. February seventy-six is a leap year, so it is going to be contain twenty-nine days, and then March thirty-one days. April thirty days, May thirty one days, June thirty days, and July sixteen days. Okay, so thirty one plus ninety nine sixty ninety one, and one twenty one one fifty two one eighty two plus sixteen. So that is going to be one ninety eight days. Okay, so one nine one ninety eight days is equal to so seven two ja. Seven, eight, ja. Okay, then we get reminder. Uh, how much? Two reminder. That means twenty-eight full weeks and two days. So from period zero years to seventeen hundred seventy-five years, we got zero odd days, and then from period first January to sixteen, we got two odd days. So total number of odd days till sixteenth July. Seventeen hundred and seventy-six is equal to two odd days. So in this concept, okay, if zero means Sunday, one means Monday, okay, so one means Monday, two means Tuesday, three means Wednesday, four means. Thursday, five means Friday, six means 
Saturday. So we got two odd days. That means two corresponding to Tuesday. So 16th July, 1776 is a Tuesday. Okay. So this one is you solving the weekday problem using the concepts of calendar. This is not a shortcut, but to classify the concepts, I explain this problem in lengthy way. In the next video, I am going to show the shortcut. Okay, very shortcut. Using that, you can find the weekday of a given day in less than 30 seconds. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.